one thing I learned about being in LA, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you never cheat with a girl with blonde hair. Never cheat with a girl with blonde hair? Never cheat with a blonde girl with blonde hair. Like, you just gotta understand, blonde head, blonde hair sheds. Oh, that's facts. It sheds. It sheds, it gets in your clothes, your, 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 your arms, your neck, your yeah. balls, yeah. everywhere. It just, it's, it's one thing I learned, just never cheat with a girl with blonde hair, whether it's real, synthetic, braids, none of that. Like, I run this day, like, I was living right here on Cartwright. Apartment, uh, apartment 101. <laughs> <laughs> like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. But yeah, I was cheating with this girl. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna say her name, but her name rhymes with Fufu. Oh, okay. <laughs> And so, you know, so I had a, I actually had a girl at the time and she lived down, down, we lived downtown, mm -hmm. but I used to come back up to the old apartment, chill with my roommates. And so I slid over old girl house and, you know, she had blonde hair. So we got down, mm -hmm. you know, it was, of course it's going to be fun with me. And, uh, yeah, I thought everything was good. So I was about to go home, but before you go home, you, you got, you got to, you know, I care about my girl, so I took to a wash shower. up a little bit. Yeah, got yeah, it. You yeah, gotta yeah. get Clean her up. nuts. <laughs> you gotta get her nuts because your girl, she understands. Yeah. Right. So I went home, caught the train downtown because at the time I wasn't driving. So I caught the train downtown. Mm. And uh, yeah, right before I got to the door, I said, yo, I can't go home with fresh balls. Yeah, yeah. So I ran around the block three times. Try to get some type of actual you, heat working you gotta on. Get that, you got to get that daily whiff <laughs> under your balls. You got to get it. You got to some get, must to this shit. Got to have some must. You know what <laughs> I mean? Just in case you go down there. And, yeah. and my girl, she loved me. She was like a little head doctor. So uh -huh. it was official. Mm. So with that being said, so, so I go home. We talk and chat. And it was, my girl was just in the mood. Just suck my dick. I don't know what it was. She was just Damn, in the mood. Just off top. Like, Damn. That would that's love. Like that's I mean, I would do it to her, so why wouldn't she do it to me? Okay, okay, okay. She was in the mood and she was going down there and also yeah. as soon as you got home, she was ready? She, I mean we chatted real quick. She had oh, a little okay, okay, okay. she had a little conversation. Yeah. Then she went down, like, yeah, whatever. And she pulled the longest blonde hair off my face. The longest blonde hair. <laughs> Bitch, it's two feet long that day. Wasn't it? Man, have you ever seen like a fire, <laughs> firefighter like wound up a hose? Yeah. That's how she was just pulling. Damn. It. Like you ever seen a clown pull up like a yeah. tissue out of his mouth? Yeah. That's what she was doing. She pulled it out and she held it to my face. She's like, nigga, <laughs> who are you fucking Rapunzel? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you couldn't really say shit after that. Nah, nigga, I got caught, man. Damn. <laughs> I like, yeah, nigga. Rounds with Fufu. Yeah, we ain't gonna call it out. Nah, <laughs> damn. That's wild. Yeah, that's wild. So that's that's pretty much how I got caught cheating, man. That's just one of the many times. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, man, after that shit, I'd probably uh, sit my ass down somewhere, man. Cause you really? can't, she can't shake the blonde. You can't shake the blonde, at least with blondes. Oh man, I, I just, shit. I don't care if you dye your, dye your hair blonde. I'm just not doing blonde. Sorry, yeah. brunettes, redheads. You could color your joint. Yeah. You could be bleach. Yeah. That bleach, dirty Jersey Shore fried. Yeah. Just as long as it ain't like that silky blonde. I'm Damn. no blonde hair for me. Man. And it's hard. It's kind of hard to do that living here in LA, man. You know, LA has got a a wide variety of women. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But as you get older, I've been out here for like ten plus years. You, so you, you're used to this. Man. But you learn not to be messy. I stopped the messiness. Yeah. Because you know, you want your sanity. Yeah. How do you not be messing in LA? I've only been here like four years and I'm just like, man, it's such a tight community. You know what I'm saying? Once you live here, I've been, it's been five years, but it seems smaller and smaller. How do you not be messy out here? Keep your dick in your pants. There you go. <laughs> hey, boy, you, boy, you sound like a husband now, boy. Yeah, See I that? mean, like, 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 like I, it's good that I got all that fuck boy shit out yeah. and all that fuckery out. So now it's like, the, the potential that women see in me or people swallow me, yeah. now I could give it to them. It's like, now I got all that ism out of me. Yeah. So I just, you know, and and you know, I fucked over a lot of good people and yeah. I apologize, but yeah. they probably don't accept it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Now they probably in the house like, motherfucker. Yeah, but they still watching, they still oh, listening and, to this shit. And, and basically, uh, <laughs> Ryan with Lulu, she, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Hold up, you ain't get to the story yet. You ain't get to the story. You ain't said the story. You ain't said the story. It don't, story. It don't even yeah. matter, who cares, man? Yeah, she hates man. me anyway. I feel like this is this is LA, man. How can you not like cross you know wires it, and shit? It's, out it's, here? it's just experiencing life, and you know you come across things. And one thing I do say, I never went to college. 
Yeah. Never went to college. I was just happy I graduated from high school and I barely did that. And you from Jersey, right? I'm from Jersey. I'm, yeah. from, I'm from right outside of Newark, so. Yeah. With that being said, it's just like, this, when I moved to LA, that was my college. Yeah. This, running around doing open mics, like back, this is, I'm talking about before there was Instagram. Wow. I was going to all like Ha Ha Cafe, Bliss wow. Cafe. I ran the streets trying to get better. And basically what I was trying to do was find my voice. Yeah. And finding your voice is finding yourself. Damn. So I think once I found myself, I learned, hey, I ain't gotta fuck every chick. Right. Hey, I ain't gotta get every stage. Two, I gotta be more networky. Right. And then internet came in and yeah, jammed yeah, it all yeah. up. Yeah, gotta come up with a new plan now. I mean, you can't get the same. You gotta have same. content, you gotta be yes. yeah. But you know what's so crazy? <laughs> when I first, when, when the whole thing started to evolve, I, uh, I, I worked for this company called What The Funny. Mm. So what the funny started out right before all ADD. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It started that just out, real familiar. Yeah, 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 so we were on the uh, the Sunset and Gower lot. Okay. So it was, uh, that's it a, was nice a lot over there too. Great lot. Yeah, right on Sunset, eh? Yeah, yeah. Sunset and Ashley Gower. Right oh, that, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what you call us over there? Uh, Helen used to do his uh, Bronson bar shit. Over there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were. We were trying to be what ADD is, mm -hmm. but what we got it wrong and what ADD corrected on their journey is content, 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 not spending as much, but people want to get to know these people on right. the internet. So right. that's what they did with these little, you know, tastes of things that ADD yeah. did, where with, with the funny, we were spending money on content where we should just shot things. Cause that was right when, uh, what, what was it? What, what Vine. Oh, that was right when yeah, Vine, yeah, yeah, cause yeah, I had worked yeah. there, and that's when like your Jahans, and that's where I first met oh, yeah. Jahan Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to Jahan. Shout out to Jahan. Filming a movie right now. Bro. Yeah, Jahan, <laughs> Sour Sunshine. Yeah, everybody batch, all of them right. started around that time. So you used to all come to my Issa Rae before she sold her show. Wow. She she tried to come and bring, before it was called Insecure. She tried to bring it there, and luckily she didn't, cause we went under. And yeah. she went and got the HBO deal. Damn. So, so everything happened for a reason. Everything happened Damn. for a reason. So basically, we went under, and then I started working a little bit with ADD because a couple of people pulled me in. So mm -hmm. that's where I learned to. It's about content, and as a comic, because that's what I want to be. I did resent internet people. Yeah, yeah, that was a big thing. I remember it when was, it first hit. I was doing a radio show in Jersey City. Yeah, and I had uh, uh, Rip Michaels and Rip some boy. other uh, comics, and then I had some internet people. Mm -hmm. And I was really diving in that conversation at that time because it was real. Because they started getting booked back when the shit first was happening, yeah. maybe, like years ago. Because <laughs> you know what it was? We felt as comics yeah. that they were taking our jokes. Yeah, that we worked hard for right. years to mold and. Right. and and they were just taking it and doing a quick two seconds or thirty. And getting all the attention, yeah, getting all and the light, all the love, and right? All that 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 <laughs> that muscle that we built to do these jokes, they just yeah. took that shit like that. And <laughs> and you know what it is, and you know with life, even with Corona, you just got to learn to adapt. Right. So with that saying, motherfuckers adapted. Right. And that's all we continue to do, man. How many years has it been since you've been doing comedy? Now? Uh, okay. I first started when I was about nineteen, twenty in New York. My first time going on stage. A guy named Seymour Butt. Seymour. He's actually Damon Wayne's best friend. Damn. And he threw me on stage and I was, I thought I was going to open mic. I was going to watch. Right. But as he put me on stage, I bombed. Yeah. Horribly. Yeah. Um, then you know, I got in, got in, you know, love kicked in. I was my head was kind of messed up, so I was, you know, working, hustling. Yeah. And then I stopped. So I only did comedy for about a couple months to a year in New York. Yeah. Because I was from Jersey. And then um my best friend asked me to uh, come out here, visit him. And um, I think to I'm LA. Out, to LA. Yeah. He said, come visit me. I'm doing real good. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So I moved out here around 26, 27. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never left, dog. And I just figured it out. I was like, yo, I'm going to do comedy again. And I picked up the mic and I never looked back. Oh. But no, I no, will no. say, <laughs> when you have a friend with money yeah. and with the access going to clubs and all that, uh, LA is a big distraction. Yeah, I can imagine. A huge distraction. Right. Especially when you got the keys to be able to access so many levels of it, dog. Like, I, I've been watching you, dog. Yeah. You be out here, dog. You yeah. be out here, bro. Where, like, was, where was that trip y'all took? Was that the Thailand or some oh, shit? Oh, Thailand. Oh, uh, Bangkok. Where the fuck? Yeah. Oh, my God. That God. shit looked like it was amazing. I'm, you know, I'm living through you. You know, I'm, I've been, I'm, a, I'm a happily, happily married man. Oh, you know what I'm right. saying? But I was checking your post like, yo, y'all having a good fucking time out you, there. You know what's so crazy? So I was <laughs> out there, right? 
And don't get me wrong, we had tons of fun, but where we were staying was like so beautiful. Right. Like every time we walked into our apartment or Airbnb, we had to say pause. Like, yo, we should have had a girlfriend or a, some female friend because they just looked two dudes <laughs> checking into these honeymoon suites that are connected. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. But overall, I mean, Thailand was like crazy. We went to uh, the Hangover uh, Hotel. Damn. I probably, we went to about a couple. Uh, Buddhist temples. So basically what we went out there for is this big party. It's, the, it's like, I forgot what it's called, man. I, and I just went there on New Year's. I can't believe yeah. it. So it's a big party. So you ever seen that movie Beach? Beaches? Uh -uh. Something like that with Leonardo DiCaprio? I think so. That's well, he like traveled to find this one beach where they're going to live. Yeah. Well, that beach is now every year is the biggest party in Thailand. Damn. So. When we got to Thailand, we stayed in Bangkok for two two nights. Yeah. Then we went, we flew to another part and we stayed there for a night. Then we had to take, catch a ferry, a two hour ferry to this island. Damn. And you get there, and it's about you ain't bugging at that point. You had already in Thailand. Now you taking a ferry that's two hours away. I've been bugging. I'll be like, yo, this is a little wild here. Nah. Or was it just fun? It was fun. It was just like you think about this. Yeah. You you from Louisiana, right? You yeah. ever been outside the country? No. So imagine like you just want to indulge. Like you right. and your wife, you just right. want to indulge. Everything is just experience. So you just, right. I dove in and everything I died didn't set for the food. I'm sorry. The food <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and the women. I, nah, I, not somebody. Yeah. Okay. You really got nine yeah. in love ass in Bangkok. Nah, you got to watch. <laughs> everybody say you got to watch out for the lady boys. And I just wasn't trying uh, to get jammed up. Like. Yeah. Like it's been a different kind of story today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> kind of story. <laughs> right, right, right. He, he coming out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm yes, like, I got jammed up. Right. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but other than that, just like the culture, yeah. the way they, they treat us, it was it was totally dope. That's totally I did get stopped by, we did get stopped walking by the police, though. Damn. So you can't even escape that shit, can you? Ooh, Damn it. Man. Black lives got to matter nigga. in Bangkok too, nigga. Yeah, you're a nigga here, you're a nigga everywhere. Damn, can't hide from that shit. It, it was it was a dope experience. So basically, this party was like basically like a twenty four hour party, and it Damn. rained, it shined, Damn. and 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 it was just like if you check my Instagram, I have a uh, they have this thing where they be jump, they like they you doing jump rope, but they set the rope on fire. Damn, and so you want to jump. And you know, I'm drunk. You know what I mean? I might pop the little Molly, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so my dumb ass go, my boy hyped me up and I jumped, I jump rope. And in the fire. In the fire. But you know, you got some kooky <laughs> drunk people out there, a couple of white boys from like yeah, Australia, and they messed up my jumping <laughs> and I burnt my whole ear Damn. up in my hair. And my hair like Nigga, just, what? My hair just grew back since in quarantine. Yeah, you know what? Honestly. Fuck it, it ain't even that serious. You got a bomb ass story to go with that, brother. If I had some yeah. shit that happened right there, I'd be telling bitches for no reason. Hey, I'm Charlie, by the way. If you've seen a little hair missing right there, yeah, like, yeah, bitch, that happened in Bangkok. I think it was jump rope, but you know, some flame and fire. Look at that's a bomb ass story. Now. Yeah, or they think you got something like, oh, this nigga yeah. got leukemia, you got yeah. cancer. <laughs> right. What is wrong with this guy? You gotta explain that shit. Yeah, no, nah, it's in Bangkok. You know, just jump over yeah. you know, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the people. But definitely <laughs> traveling, moving to LA, it, it, I just never knew I could get a passport. So I did. From when I moved out here to now, I done been in so many countries, man. That's dope. And just just, just living life and just creating memories. Right. Like You've been I, doing this a minute, bro. And yeah. I know you had some some highs and some, and some lows, obviously, still, because it's a constant process yeah. for us. What would you say, like, your highest moment of out here was probably like, man, this was probably the coolest experience I had in the comedy game. In the comedy game. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you travel in these dope places, but... Uh, it far, but that was just that, that was just, just fun. Yeah. So, my, I was on tour uh, opening for Marlon Sean Wayne for a couple of years. Oh! Damn, that's dope. <laughs> Pow! Dropping on there. That's what's up. I ain't no more. <laughs> damn. But still, man, that's you got some fire-ass stories. Yeah, With so... With Sean and Marlon Wayans, are you kidding me? Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> I knew them since I was a little kid. Oh, okay. So, it was like, kind of like, all right, once he gets his, he gets a little better. Yeah, we'll let him start opening, cold opening, right. and, and that's how I got my my, my wings. Like, and how got... nervous were you though? I mean, when you started doing that shit, was you just like, "Fuck it"? Oh, but still, you following, and he's your boy, so it's kind of weird. As you you feel like you got a lot to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that know? was around the time I thought I was cute. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so you're feeling yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, to say, yeah. Oh, we saw you on stage. Whether you did good or bad, right? I didn't care. I was <laughs> right, just like, give right. me vagina. Right, right, right. Give right. it to me. I'm winning either way. Yeah, and with that being said, I I wasn't taking it serious. Yeah. So you know, after a couple of years, 
you know, they went on, they had to do a couple movies. Marlon had did uh, Haunted House or whatever, so they lowered yeah. down, and so they stopped. Mm-hmm. And so with that stopping, and, you know, plus we were, you know, me, Shane Miller, Craig Waynes, and mm-hmm. Vinny O'Shaughnessy, we was all opening up for them. Yeah. So they pretty much stopped it. And with that being said, it was just like, I was so, like, I thought that ride was going to be forever. When he right. stopped it, right. it was like, it was hard. Yeah. But what I did learn, when I stopped and I started doing, like, I bring I stopped comedy for about like a month. I just, just I would go watch. That was it. Yeah. But when I started going back on, I found my voice. Mm. So I thank God. It took you going through that shit. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah. I thank God that they were like, yo, get the fuck off this off the road. Yeah. And it made me struggle a little more. And I found yeah. out my voice and my point of view when I tell my jokes. That's fire. That's fire, man. Dope, man, man. Yo, man, well, I appreciate you coming through, man, sharing the story with me, man. Now, yeah. I, I got to know too, man. I'm sure people are curious as well, man. Obviously, I've heard you on stage. You dope as shit. Uh, is that where you ultimately like to see yourself, you know, touring and doing your own shows? Or do you see yourself more transitioning onto on camera? Uh, so, um, this two, this is really what it is. Like, I think, I think once you walk in this thing, you have a goal. Yeah. But as you start to uh, uh, mature within comedy, you find other avenues you want to get into. So yeah, at the end of the day, if I could support myself and my family right. off my craft right. on the road, that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. But do I want to write and create things? Yes, because I, I did, uh, I produced, directed, and wrote a short that I'm sitting on right now for some reason mm-hmm. that I am going to put out. So I definitely want to spread my rings in that. Duh. But the ultimate goal and what I'd be satisfied in is being uh, just a nationwide, uh, international comedian supporting my family and making people laugh. That's what's up, man. That's dope. Yeah. And now you gotta drop that short too. You just put it. You just dropped it out oh, to yeah, the it's Yellow, called Yellow Wings. Yellow Wings. Oh, that's tight, man. Yeah. Yeah. We can't wait to see that, bro, man. Well, definitely, man. Tell people uh, if you got anything coming up, and definitely let people know where they can follow and keep up with, with what you got going. Um, you can find. I mean, honestly, you can find me at, um, on my Instagram, uh, my bad food, M Y B A D F U U. It was F U. But I would kept <laughs> posting so much ratchet stuff, they they blocked me or some girl like Yeah, you got hacked something. or some shit. Yeah, something yeah, happened. I remember yeah, that. I'd have to get a whole new page. I'm I'm back at two thousand. I was up there too. Yeah. But now I'm starting out. So you can find me on, on uh, social media at my bad food to use or on Facebook, Fuquan Latif Johnson. Um I do my own podcast that I, I put on YouTube. And I am still working with ADD, so you can find me on there. And other than that, I'm just, you know. Probably a nigga getting off the bus or calling a hailing a Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, shout out to my man Fu for pulling up, man. Yeah. Big, big ups to you, dog, man. Yo, thanks so much for tuning in to Do Tell with Laugh After Dark. I've been your host, Charlie Wilson. Make sure you stay connected, like, share, follow, all of that. We'll see you next time. Look at y'all out here tuning in. Ah, oh, thank you. I, I see. No, I see you. <laughs> yeah, make sure now, before you leave, make sure you like it, you follow it, and you subscribe it. Probably got some spit right there. You know what to do, though. It's Laugh After Dark. <laughs>